Right, when you uh, start out to catch your gears, one of the considerations, of, well the first consideration is what sort of metal am I going to use to cut the gear? Um, we all know cast iron's the hardest sort of option of the three, which are cast iron, aluminium or aluminium, as the Americans like to call it, and brass. Uh, they get progressively softer, cast iron hardest, brass next, aluminium is the softest, easiest to machine. And the burning question is, it's also the cheapest, uh, uh, basically, uh, if you do it the way uh, I suggest and make your own gear blanks, it can be extremely cheap. But, getting away from that, as it machines so readily, the burning question on your mind always is, how is it going to last? You know, like, uh, you go to all this trouble to set up and cut these gears and the last thing you want is for the teeth to strip off or the uh, thing to wear out quickly. Well, the short answer to that is, it will last for a very long time, provided you don't use really soft aluminium. This is the very first gear that I ever made um, to test out the process. Uh, I used aluminium just basically to test out the process to see if it worked. And shortly after that I made this brass one, um, thinking the aluminium gear, you know, who knows how long it's going to last. Um, so if it does fail, I've got a, another gear ready to go. The fact of the matter is that gear's been there ever since I made it and this lady's done a lot of work in that time and that gear has gone through numerous um, wrecks on the, uh, on the lead screw where I've crashed the carriage and uh, broken the shear pin on the lead screw and that gear and none of these other gears have ever failed. Um, so this aluminium gear has lasted extremely well. So if you can make a gear that lasts six or seven years out of uh, aluminium, yeah, that's a reasonable length of time. Looking at it, it still looks as good as the day I made it. So uh, that's got at least another six or seven years and it, probably three times that. And uh, so the short answer to do aluminium gears last? Yes, they do. Um, they, they use aluminium gears in uh, uh, car engines on the, uh, the timing uh, gears, uh, on the camshaft particularly, and uh, on some of the older motors that, that used gears rather than uh, Gilmer belts, uh, yeah, they used to use um, alloy gears on the, on the camshaft and they would last a lot longer than, many, many times longer than the fibre gears they used to use in the old days. And some lathes, some lathes with geared heads still do use a fibre gear in them to uh, damp out harmonics and uh, to quieten them down a bit. So, uh, yeah, aluminium will last. Looking at this, this uh, is one of the reverse tumbler gears up here. That's also uh, aluminium. Um, I made that one up after I chipped some teeth on a cast iron one that uh, came under <laughs> significant duress when I was doing um, heavy milling with this thing with a huge uh, fly cutter and the backlash from the spindle, you know, the, uh, the shutter through the spindle from the heavy milling actually, the backlash chipped a few teeth off. So. I made another one up in, uh, out of uh, aluminium, my melted down aluminium, still going strong. So there you go, don't be afraid to use aluminium, um, it is uh, quite up to the task. You could make that full gear train out of aluminium and it would last no problem whatsoever. The only consideration you've got to um, think about with aluminium is it's okay on a, in a tooth on tooth situation but it would, I think, wear in a rubbing situation where um, it's, uh, say, turning on a fixed shaft, in which case um, it, uh, the centre would tend to wear. You would want to put a steel um, centre into it to take all the rubbing action. Um, this uh, change gear, this uh, reverse tumbler gear here, has got a, a steel centre, a press-in steel centre that takes all the rubbing action because that's not on a gear carrier. This is on a gear carrier and of course being on a gear carrier, the gear carrier takes all the uh, rubbing uh, wear so it's not an issue. But if you have a, a lathe with a different setup to this where the, out, the alloy gear or the gear is turning directly on a fixed shaft, you definitely want to put a steel um, centre in your alloy gear to take the, uh, the rubbing action. But where it comes to teeth on teeth, which is more of a pressure 
situation. There is rubbing, but um, predominantly it's a pressure uh, situation. No problem whatsoever. As you can see, these teeth have stood up um, over time uh, without an effort. Uh, no problem at all. So there you go. Don't be afraid to use aluminium. Uh, it may seem soft and wimpy when you're machining it, but it's actually quite durable, uh, tough stuff. And um, it's not going to be uh, prone to chipping like cast iron. And it's a hell of a lot cheaper than brass, which uh, is hard to get in big sizes like that. And uh, yes, as I said, it is quite expensive. If you make your gears out of aluminium using the old backyard furnace and uh, meltdown and uh, turn up your own blank method, your gears will be as cheap as chips and, uh, and they'll go for a very long time. So there you go. I hope that helped. See ya.